Hey guys, uh, okay, so I've got a bit of an unboxing for you today. It's a big old box, I mean, you can see it there. <laughs> but um, this was an auction uh, win of mine. It cost me quite a bit, I must admit, probably more than I wanted to. To be fair, most of it was premiums, hammer fees, online surcharges, pack it, £40 this place charged just for packing it. That wasn't with postage, just for packing. It cost me £54 total for postage and packing. So remember, if there's anyone watching this with their eBay store that's worried about charging £3 for an item to send it, I want it. Okay, people pay what they need to pay. So, I'm going to open this. And it should hopefully be a real nice score, or it could be a terrible fail. In which case, I'll be lucky to get my money back, but we'll see. Oh man, I hate this stuff. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. So we have something there. Be quite careful. Uh, right, okay, so this first is a really nice PlayStation steering wheel. Um, I believe it says it Logi Tech or I can't quite remember the, the, the manufacturer, but um, looks like you can do PSX or PC, which is pretty cool. And it comes with a handheld or if you've got a foot pedal for it as well, so you can just switch the little switches. That's pretty cool, and that, that's nothing major. There's like 20 25 quid in that. Um, you've got the flap, flappy pedal gearbox, as they call it. Uh, see, there we go. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm coming home from my driving actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's really odd. These buttons here, the L1 and, and R1. Yeah, so anyway, there's 25, 2025 in there. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Next up, we have, if my phone ever stops. It's my nephew, yeah. I'll, if my nephew watches this, I'll get back to you. Uh, right, okay, so next up. We have and this is actually the foot pedals for the wheel. So um, that's obviously raised the price now to maybe forty uh, for all. Or maybe I'm still in the 30 range, I don't know. Uh, so that's that one. There is certainly a, there is a fair chunk in here, so I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try and be as quick as possible. As I've got some posting to do soon as well. Right, okay, so next up we have just a real sort of bog standard. Um, joystick but it is a quick shot um, and I'm sure we all remember like the quick shot Python us old school gamers We've got all old button which is pretty cool so that's all on fire it's very bog standard but if you notice the end it is for a Sega Mega Drive so I think I checked up on this and it's about 10 or 15 pounds just for that joystick um, so that's pretty cool Dive in here and see what else we got. Okay, so what we've got here, another, another bit here. I must admit, although I've paid a lot for packing, it is extremely well packed, <laughs> but should be before the quick. Right, okay. This is pretty cool. I think this is actually the first time I've ever owned one of these. I 
have the same thing out. Can't ask it, there's a game in it, that's why. Right. We have a Sega Master System. Uh, does obviously have some marks. Um, but in, it's actually in pretty good condition considering. Um, bit dusty, but you'd expect that. Yeah, so Master System. Inside uh, the console was Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. So uh, I don't know the value of the games, I've got some research these. Yeah, so Master System and Castle of Illusion. Let's just put those over there so I don't break them. Next up. This looks like a bunch of games. Right, so game-wise. We have Air Rescue, and this is a Master System. Manual and Cartridge, which is pretty cool. We have Wimbledon. <laughs> Wimbledon, uh, Manual and Game, which is pretty cool again. Uh, Xenon 2, gotta love Xenon 2. Manual and Game, make sure it's the right cartridge. That's that cartridge is mint. That's a really nice cartridge. Anyway, Xenon 2. When we have Space Gun. Really nice condition again. Quite, I'm quite pleased with the condition of these because obviously when you're bidding online you never quite know what you're getting. Next up, Global Defense, the mega cartridge for one player. Uh, once again, manual cartridge. I assume that's going to be standard for these. It looks like I bought basically somebody's collection. Um, it didn't seem to be another reseller selling it. What we got here? All oh, right, are these little labels? All oh, right, yeah, it looks like someone's labeled the top of them as well. Anyway, this one is Sagaya. Manual and cartridge. Sagaya. Don't know that one. Captain Silver. Uh, unfortunately, the box isn't that great. However, I do have, incredibly, a replacement box because I bought this in a charity shop, Transbot. Didn't it? Didn't pick it. I didn't look up on it. I just picked it up and went, "Well, I love that." Two ninety nine for a uh, Sega game. I love that. But inside is the manual for Alex Kidd, and the game is Rastan. So it's com a complete mismatch. But at least I can use the case now for that. So, uh, so yeah, Captain Silver, uh, manual, yeah, manual and cartridge. I know I'm not showing you all of these, but so far they've all had the manual and the cartridge, which is handy. Um, and Zillion. Oh, right, okay, this one's got the manual, the cartridge, and like this. It must be some sort of puzzle game because it looks like somebody's written down like squares and stuff so no idea um okay so that's that bundle that's that a lot There's still more to go yet all right next up we got this lot one green one green one of those in that entire white batch. How weird. What rare is it? Right, okay. So basically what we've got here is a bunch of wires. So we've got obviously the We've got the two Master System controllers there, which is pretty cool. We've got probably the Master System AC. We have the Sega SS55 computer, and so you can flick it from your TV to your computer. Um, and then you've got an RF cable as well. So let's we'll just put them over there. 
Alright, next stop. Okay, this is, that's a massive chain, so I don't know what that is. Let's have a look at this. Alright, okay, looks like we've got a bunch more games. If I can find my knife, there we go. Right, so we've got clacks on the master system, clacks in the manual, which is cool, Astro Warrior and Pit Pot combo cartridge. Yep, that's all, that's all there. Manual was a bit tatty on that one, but uh, Action Fighter. Some of these are you know, probably really low end games. I'm hoping that there's going to be some really good high end ones as well, but we'll see. Now we've got Mega Drive games. So we've got Gunstar Heroes on the Mega Drive. And the cartridges, these they just still look so mint. Uh, good old FIFA 95. I remember buying this myself. Yeah, FIFA Soccer 95. There's always a FIFA, even back then, there was always a FIFA in every bloody bundle. Streets of Rage 2, I remember playing this as well. Yeah, that's all good. Except for that bit of a rip on there. Um, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. It's all good. Echo the Dolphin. Great title. Manual cartridge. That's cool. Of course, good old Sonic the Hedgehog. Not as rare, a lot of people pick up Sonic thinking it's rare, but I mean, the, the game was pretty much released with every console, um, every Sega console, so it's not that rare, but still a good title to sell. And then we got PGA European Tour. Probably not much money in that, to be honest. And then Red Zone. That's pretty cool. So, I don't know how much money I've got in the, in the games, to be honest, but... What else we've got here? Got something else here. Which is... Three more stacks of games. That's pretty cool. Bloody stuff's getting everywhere, man. Right. Okay. So, what we've got here, we've got <laughs> this one for Nick Hills, Trivial Pursuit, Genesis Edition. Yep, that's all good. <laughs> Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, that's pretty cool. That's, I was a big Michael Jackson fan, still am, but uh, never, I never owned this. I owned it on the, I'm tempted to say Commodore 64, it might have been the Amiga, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, next up. Uh, sorry, by the way, these are Master System. I mean, you guys watching probably know already, but the white, kind of like the white boxes and Master System ones. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog on the Master System. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, heavyweight Champ. I'm not sure if there's any like n known names in this. No, but. Uh, yeah, sports titles are a bit hit and miss, but what have we got here? Golden Axe. Nice one. That's a good title. Golden Axe on the Master System. Afterburner. I used to I used to waste and spend so much time on this game as a kid. Um, Afterburner, I used to love that game. Okay, uh, next up. We've got Spider-Man, Robocop vs. Terminator, uh, 
I've actually been really amazed at how how good condition these cartridges actually are. Um, so far, all with the manual as well. Let me try and make some space here because I've got my like my monitor behind so I can see what I'm doing. And for so many games, I'm losing myself. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, a few more. Pit Fighter, Speedball. Anyone from my age age range will know Speedball. Brilliant game. We have R Type, another classic. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, Black Belt and Teddy Boy. Okay, don't know that one. Uh, really losing space here. Okay, and last two from this slide for you. FIFA 96 and Aerial Assault. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Right, something else here as well. Something quite big here, so let's see what this is. Okay. Well, what we've got here is in a tray. We have a Sega Mega Drive, Game Boy Tetris manual, Hang On manual. We have two official controllers. We have, actually no, it's three controllers. This was the, the one with the like, extra buttons. So yeah, so we've got a Mega Drive 1. We've got so, a couple of Mega Drive controllers there. We have mains adapter. And we have a Sinclair Spectrum AC adapter. And a couple of like these weird little gargoyle things so yeah <laughs> that's that uh, let me try and find a place for this right okay so we gonna see if there's anything else in here I don't think there is right I think I think we're clear so there we go so that's what I that's what I've bought I need to do some research on what everything is worth obviously I've got to test it and make sure it works um, it looks to me and I hope you guys agree that it looks like it's actually just somebody's old collection and some a family or something could just put it all into auction and just wanted rid of it um, so I'm hoping it works as it's just been left in a loft or something somewhere so anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I know that's two videos for me today. I know the last one was like 20 odd minutes. So I'm going to end this one here. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this particular haul. Um, I hope to have another one for you probably next week. Um, I'll make a video on that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Cheers.